This is the Big Buddha Temple on Fan Island. Kofan Village, Kosamui. And many of these Buddhist temples, there's even robes available. Um, she just asked this young lady to leave because she was wearing a pretty tight, I call it a halter top with a little side boobage going on. So one of the caretaker ladies said, no, 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 go down there and put a robe on. And she just stormed away. So respect the local customs. Like I say, um, even shorts aren't supposed to be happening. There's three people in shorts coming down now. And, you know, I would hope that at least leave uh, a small donation. Well, I just asked the, uh, the lady who chased the lady away wearing the halter top, um, hey, I'm wearing shorts. And she says, no, shorts for a man, no problem. So maybe it's a little bit different rules for a guy wearing shorts in 95 degree weather and a, a lady wearing a halter top. Just keep that in mind. You want to be respectful. I did drop a, a whopping 20 baht note in the donation box and she was appreciative of that. And people leaving offerings for the Buddha. Cool drinks. I'm interested to find out about the uh, sailboat scene here in Thailand. I've always been a sailor. Maybe at some point I can rent a boat. I see some uh, 25 and 30 foot boats out there. They can't be that much to rent. I'm sure these are privately owned. All right, so it looks like uh, the young lady went and bought a shawl or cover up I think she's Thai I wanted to come up and pay her respects so that's all they ask they just don't really want uh, sexy clothing at a Buddhist temple another sign pointed out please don't use the Buddha for decoration um, little statues in the garden and all I guess are technically not correct and they also uh, pointed out Buddha tattoos. Not cool. Beautiful homes up on the hillside. You'll find, you'll find every level of home here. Million dollar homes down to uh, more affordable apartments to rent. But Kosamui, like it's uh, sister island, resort island Phuket, there are some very, very expensive, beautiful homes. Even an affordable home, you're still on a beautiful island. So that was nice, and certainly a nice lookout. I'm just out cruising on my motorbike, but these uh, tour vans, for less than a thousand baht, whatever that is, 25 bucks, they'll drive you all around the island to uh, all the hot tourist spots. So that's probably something I should have did, but I'm just out driving around, and when I see a sign, I head off and check it out. guys over here working on their nets Looks like some dive boats
I saw signs for, of course, dive trips and booze cruises. Bunch of private yachts out. Looks like some high speed dive and snorkel boats. It is about two in the afternoon, so probably a lot of the boats are out. And I also saw advertising for the full moon party. They take you out to one of these local islands and you get a little crazy. There's the big Buddha off in the distance. Nice breeze cooling things down. I also see jet skis over there for rent. Many of these boats departing to the local islands like Koh Tao for snorkeling and no doubt diving. Just smaller islands off of Koh Samui. Crystal clear water. I believe they all come with a two or three hundred baht national park fee on top of your snorkeling or dive package. I imagine some of these fancier boats like that trimaran may be available for bare boat charters. You fly over and charter the boat for thousands and thousands of dollars. Maybe hire a, a Thai captain would be a good idea. Take you to all the local hotspots and anchorages. He knows exactly how the reef is and any dangerous spots. I'm going to guess this is a little classroom set up right as I walked up. Uh, they rushed out, of course, trying to sell me a snorkel trip or whatnot. That's that's their business. And then these maps, they're probably showing you exactly where the boats are going. And here's the high-speed boats. There's also slower boats. Let me see if I can find one. Ah, they're probably all out. I think the slower boats return at 5, 6 p.m. These are the high-speed boats. So if you're in a a bit of a hurry, you just want to do a three, four hour snorkel as opposed to an all day event. This is what you're going to go for, the high speed boats. And of course they're going to teach you about not walking on the coral and over here, you kind of have to use sunblock. It's not a great idea. There's different sunblocks that are more reef friendly, I guess, but the, the little bit of damage you might be doing wearing that sunblock, you're going you're gonna to save yourself for uh, being sunburned on your whole vacation. So wear some good sunblock.